Hey guys, Judith with Four Corners from Jay and my husband, Mikhail, the face behind the General Soundwave, Yahweh Games, Hebrew Noshings, and the beard. <laughs> anything else? The beard. <laughs> Did I miss anything? No. Hi. Okay. Shalom, shalom. So I'm starting this new series, the 613 Exposed, and generally the, the 613 Mitzvot Commandments. There's been a lot of passionate discussion and a lot of tension. Mm -hmm. Generally, it's just tension. So um, he started a series a little while back, just exposing himself and others to what the 613 really are one by one. And I wanted to do that. I've been wanting to do it for a few years and I'm committed. Um, and I know you can't do them all. We know that. We're not trying to. Um, in fact, there's some teachings, commandments for women that he won't be able to do, but that doesn't make him less favored. And, and also, just to be clear, too, this is not necessarily a video on, like, you must do them. This mm -hmm. is like, uh, I have had so many discussions with, like, Christian leaders and then Messianic Jewish leaders. And it's like, you know, it always comes back to that thing that you're not under the law. But when you ask them specifically, do you know any of the 613 commandments? They can't say any. So it's just a, it's a regurgitation of what they've been taught rather than an investigation. And that's what these videos are designed yeah. to do. This is why I would, I, this is for me myself, but I'm bringing you guys along the journey. Um, and then my husband's here and we're doing it together. Um, what's next? Sorry, I have my notes in my notebook here. And I have my gold keeper because we were married in a gold keeper. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh yeah, so... Your series, you started a little while back. You took a break, but you're going to yeah, do it the, together. How do you facilitate it? <laughs> so I started, uh, I started three YouTube channels over the last couple years. And uh, a lot of it was just trying to figure out what was going to go on which channel. And should I put everything all, all in the one channel? Ooh, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. It's the, the scotch. No. no. It's ginger ale. I love ginger ale. Um, so, so no, the, I, the idea is, um, like as I was, I was putting this all on one channel, it, it got really kind of convoluted. Like I know YouTube has playlists, but some people don't want to see the video game content and they only want to see the Hebraic content and other people just want to see it's a, but you know, vice versa. So mine was very straightforward and I think I got to the first 10 commandments and then my phone ran out of hard drive space and on the way home from, you know, my grandfather passed away a few weeks ago and I deleted a thousand, over a thousand images and freed up some hard drive space. So I'm hoping to kick that back off again. Um, I'm also going to try to figure out how to cons like, uh, conserve. That's the word I'm looking for. Mm, consolidate? Con uh, yeah, that too. I want to take, take the, the stuff that's already existing and move it to my Hebrews Noshing channel. So take it out of general sound wave and put it in the Hebrews noshing. I think that's more suitable. So I think that's, uh, and then and the way that mine are designed is they're only designed to be read off the, uh, Chabad.org website. Um, and basically shown where it is in the scripture and that's it. So like each video is like between 30 and a minute and a half tops 30 seconds a minute and a half because like I just don't want to I don't want to like have commentary on it. it's not what it's designed for it's designed just to reveal and show what's actually being written yeah that's kind of the direction I want to go um, the way I ch I'm going to facilitate mine on my channel is once a week we're gonna get together we'll hopefully get together more often yeah. than that and we're going to film these um, hopefully film a week's worth. What that looks like is maybe five per video, three videos per week. So we may be wearing the same outfit for the whole week. So that's what that's going to be about. <laughs> Which is funny because I wear the same outfit every day, yeah, essentially. We're, we're somewhat minimalist, um, so. I don't, I don't like making more decisions than I have to. Like that's just me. It's like I have to I have to save that one extra decision for something more important than figuring out what I have to wear. So Einsteinian of you. Yep. <laughs> um, let's see. Yes, and so mine. I found a list. Uh, I think it's Jewish FAQ. 
I'm going to have the link to that and the Chabad link that he uses because I'm, the, the list that I found groups it by topic. So you have the commandments directed to God, commandments directed to Torah, clothing, marriage, different things like that. So I will address about five commandments per video and it's generally going to be within the same topic. Um, I will make reference to how it fits in the more traditional list, the Chabad list. Uh, I think something else too is that we will probably end up inserting our own commentary yeah. in a, separate videos. Like, oh, okay. like we'll do something, we'll say, you know, according to her structure or whatever, but then, you know, eventually we'll be like, oh, I didn't know that, or oh, I don't think yeah. that this is what this is. Because like I, I've read, I've read some like uh, I want to say it's like the twenty eighth commandment. There's a in the in the Hasidic or the uh, six thirty six thirteen. It, it was like, it, you read it and it's like, what? And then you have to like go and look in scripture and actually like read it for yourself what it says in the multiple versions that I read it in. And it doesn't really necessarily say the same thing. So yeah. like that's that, you know, you need to have some commentary for something like that. And, and actually maybe even involve bringing in somebody who knows a little bit better. Ooh, guest speakers. <laughs> oh, that's what Hebrew Nashi is, right? Uh, add to playlists, other teachings. Um, yeah, I want to keep the commentary minimal, but there are some that are very intriguing. There's some that I am more passionate about. There are some, um, oh, uh, as a warning, some may be very offensive. So since we're all kind of not 100% uh, aligned with God and we're working towards that, the sanctification, whatever you want to call it, there's still stuff that's going to prick us. Um, so instead of being offended, think of it as being challenged. As I'm creating my playlist, I will probably, I thought of, and I probably will insert videos of kittens or baby owls or puppies yeah, I, I, just to kind of relieve that tension. I, I kind of like to say this too, tense. is like the stuff that's tense, it's, it's because we're raised as Americans and it's a different system. It's a different culture mm -hmm. and it's not. A challenge like oh this needs to be reformed it's like your thinking needs to be reformed not not the not the word yeah so I saw a meme about that um, someone is quoting the Bible and the person says well I don't agree with your interpretation he's like I'm not interpreting that's that's what it says so be challenged um, I since we will be reading the list of commandments and the scripture reference I want to show off what Bibles we're reading from. Yeah. So can you show what Bible you will be reading from? So, um, thank you for allowing me to go to first time place. So this is called a Chumash. That's my face. I'm trying to get it. Chumash. <laughs> this uh, Chumash Stone Edition is my favorite Bible in the whole world. And a little backstory. Uh, you know, when I, when I was growing up, I read the NIV almost exclusively because I read somewhere, was taught somewhere that it was designed for people with a seventh grade vocabulary. So it was very straightforward for me to understand. And then um, one day uh, I, was in, I was in synagogue and I saw my rabbi, uh, Mark, he had the Chumash, but his was gray. His was a different version. And his was a hardback like this, but he had worn it out so much that you could actually like fold it in half. And I was like, what are you reading? He's like, oh, this is just the Torah. And I was like, this is just the first five books. And he was like, yeah. And so, uh, that's, I, I had, I had to go get it because I, I needed to see, cause he said there's, there's commentary in here that's critical and everybody should read it. And so my education changed and. I'm glad I made it. The other version that I have a tendency to read is the Mahone Mamre version that's online. So you got the Hebrew on the right and here and the English on the left. Same thing with the Chumash, and we'll probably get into that. What are you reading? I this was a gift from my husband. Um, it's is that reading backwards Holy Bible Ethiopic version. I got this, and this is Torah and Apocrypha. No New Testament. I thought it was going to include the New Testament. It didn't. I got this because. It has Enoch and everyone or not everyone but there's that that stigma oh well Enoch's not in the Bible and I'm that jerk where I purposely sought out a Bible that had it so I say yeah 
I did a lot, a lot of studying a few years ago. First, first forty day fast I ever ever went on. God led me to the Book of Enoch, and uh, I did a lot of a study studying on the Essenes. And you know, when I found out that that it was included in their in their writings, I let her know. And I think that was how you found out about it, right? Yeah. Uh, this, I'm not saying this is the best, like he highly favors his. I'm not saying this is the best, this is the one that you need to get, or it's the greatest of all time. I'm just saying this is the one I'm reading this year. I have a video, and I may put it in the description, of um, just sharing that every year I try to read a different translation. This is the one that I'm in this year, so this is the one that I will be reading from for these for this series. Um, what other thing that I would like to mention, because she just said it, this Kumash version, if you're interested in this, I actually do sell these, and I sell these on my website. I'm uh, just basically take your information, send it off, and I send you the the scriptures. This is it was it was too important to me to to like dismiss. I want everybody to to look into this as much as possible. So, what website? Oh, it's YahwehGames.com. Y h w h g a m e s dot com. And uh, if you just want to email me directly, it's Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, at Y-H-W-H-Games.com, G-A-M-E-S. And just let me know that you want one. I'll, I'll send you an email back telling you how much it costs. Um, the uh, shipping should be included in it. That's awesome. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so thank you for joining us. The 613... <laughs> Exposed, and again, that's just exposing us to the 613. That's right. It's I'm not even though the title scandalous. I thought it was just fun and it's good play on words. Yeah. All right. Have a good one.